What's up to all our sidekicks and henchmen out there in the Geek Nation? I am JD, owner of Johnny Destructo's Hero Complex at 4327 Main Street in Philadelphia, PA. It's a little subsection of Philly called Maniunk. Uh, it's a nice little Main Street. You should come get your asses down here and buy some comics and hang out. I'm here to bring you some Thunder Rounds, two of them, if I can, if he lets me do it. This is Kai. And uh, we'll see if he lets me get through them. So a Thunder Round is just a 60-second review. This week, I decided to do two real quick ones on Justice League number 59 from Brian Michael Bendis and David Marquez and Nightwing number 78 from Tom Taylor and um, Bruno Redondo. Is it Bruno? Ooh, I should have had that prepared. I think it's Bruno Redondo. And, oh, I'm right. So basically, we have the Infinite Frontier it's just basically the what's coming from DC right now, right? It's it's no big deal. There's not a reboot. All of the numbering is basically the same still. So we're just having new teams work on some classic DC IP uh, that we know and love. So uh, let's see. Justice League is by Brian Michael Bendis and David Marquez. And I, you know, Bendis has been doing Superman for the past two years or so. And some people love it. Some people hate it. I think it's pretty good. I think it's fine. Um, you know, Peaks and Valleys, not great. Not as great as I had hoped it would be from my experience with early Bendis when he was in Marvel. But I think it did some really interesting stuff with Superman. It made some interesting choices. Not all of them I agree with, but they were at least interesting. So that's where I'm at with Bendis and Superman. His run on Superman is over. But it's kind of continuing here in Justice League. So I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. I got a little... He's so wobbly. He's he's a month and one day old. His name is Kai. Hi, guy. Well, you know what? Say hi. This is Kai. Hi. He doesn't he doesn't care about you. He does not give a crap that he's on, on camera. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Go. All right. So this new Justice League... I am enjoying it immediately more than I was enjoying the Scott Snyder stuff, which I think was a little bit too big for its own britches. This uh, feels very Brian Michael Bendis-y. If you like Brian Michael Bendis, this is his Justice League, and it's exactly what you think it is. If you do not like Brian Michael Bendis, I don't think this is going to sway you into liking Brian Michael Bendis. Um, it's got some cool stuff with um, Black Adam. We've got a new villain who shows up who speaks a lot like a Brian Michael Bendis character speaks. And overall, I'm interested. I'm into it. We have his new creation. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, gosh, Naomi. Uh, and the threat comes from her, sort of. You know, so it's a Naomi-related threat. And it's fun, but it's not amazing. I think if you're interested enough, it's definitely worth picking up. But uh, I'm not out there shouting it from the rooftops that you need to grab this issue. This is the one. So, uh there it is. End of round. All right. So that's Justice League number 59. Brian Michael Bendis, David Marquez. Here's one of the covers. Uh, I'm sure in post I will have thrown it up right here. Uh, and then let's see. Nightwing number 78. I hated the what has been going on with Nightwing for the past two years. He got shot in the head. He lost his memory, which I thought was a great setup. I was super excited for that. And the fact that he was like, nah, dog, I don't need to be Dick Grayson anymore. That guy isn't me anymore because I don't even remember who that is. I'm not worried about the past. I'm only going to be looking forward. I thought that was a wonderful setup for Nightwing, for Dick Grayson, for a new status quo for the character, at least temporarily. And man, super stoked. And then I immediately didn't care. The, the choices that they made didn't didn't affect me emotionally one way or the other and uh, I found it a little frustrating and I just dropped off the book didn't care uh, but I was very excited that he's back because I've always been a big fan of Dick Grayson I'm a big fan of all the Robins I'm a big Bat Family fan I like the Bat Family way more than I care about Bruce Wayne himself so oh and if you're looking for a quick recommendation check out the new 52 Nightwing that was great that was a great um new status quo for the character involving the Haley's Circus and uh, highly recommend it. Uh, there's an omnibus of it out there. You can go get the whole thing in one big book. I highly recommend you do that. So here we are, Infinite Frontiers, Nightwing, number 78, from Tom Taylor, Bruno Redondo, 
60 seconds on the clock. Dink, there we go. This, remember how earlier I was like, Justice League isn't the book I'm gonna tell you to go buy? Nightwing is the book I'm gonna tell you to go buy. Stop watching this video because it's stupid and get Nightwing number 78. It's great. It is a return to form for Nightwing for Dick Grayson. The art is fantastic. The cover is wonderful. Uh, I like how they integrate the city of Bloodhaven into his logo on his chest, his, his signal. And uh, yeah, th this is so good. We have a little bit of early Dick Grayson meeting Babs Gordon. We've got uh, a wonderful shot. Uh, look at that double page spread. That's fantastic. And uh, we've got some cute puppy business. We've got Bloodhaven. We've got, oh, what's his name? The guy who's in charge of everything. Uh, Mr. Desmond. Um, yeah, man, this is great. Highly recommend it. And there's a nice little cliffhanger here involving a family that is very, very important to the history of Dick Grayson. End of round. Nailed it. Shut up, phone. So yeah, this is the one, guys. Uh, Nightwing, this is fantastic. The coloring, the art, everything is great. Highly recommend this first issue. I was stoked as hell to read this and be back on board for good Nightwing. Also, this little ad here, if you haven't read it yet, Joker number one. I didn't think I was going to care about that one either, but Joker basically Joker basically uh, is on one page of that book. It's mostly about James Gordon, and it's pretty great. Highly recommend it. What did you think of it? He says, fart. I think farts. He's just a, bu he's just a, a bucket of, of uh, floppy right now. He's a big floppy bucket. Right, boy? So, yeah. That's it. Those are my thunder rounds. Go to your local comic shop, scan the shelves, pick up some new comics, enjoy them. And uh, I don't know what that was. And uh, comment below. Let me know what you think of these books, of other books that are coming out right now. Let me know what your favorite stuff on the shelf is. Don't forget to join us Sundays, 1030 a.m. Uh, on our live stream on our YouTube channel. It's uh, YouTube dot com slash cult pop go so you can find our youtube where we do live streams uh, i also do a live stream on tuesday afternoons at 2 p.m where i take you through everything that is in my weekly delivery uh, so you can go to your local comic shop and be prepared to spend your money and get what you want to get so i guess that's it i'm gonna go hang out with my baby uh my my mom's just came for a uh, birthday dinner and they brought me the miles morales game so hopefully if he decides he's going to take a nap, maybe I could play a little bit of that. And um, finish watching Mulan. We've been enjoying Mulan today. So I guess that's it, guys. Thank you so much for spending the last couple of minutes with me. That's it. Love you, and I will talk at you later. Mm, dink. Cold pop.